next one when I have an underhook and I have inside control. I'm gonna get him leaning in with head position and he's circling really hard away from me. It's gonna set up my single leg on the far side. But in order to do this, I gotta get a hard snap with my underhook hand. I'm not gonna come up to the head. I'm not gonna release my control on the opposite side and come up to the head and snap because that frees up it maybe possibly a shooting hand. But what I want him to do, I want to get him to fight back in on that side when I have inside control. So we'll go through really slow here. Again, I have an underhook, I have inside control. He's at the edge, this is the, this is the scenario, he's at the edge. And when he starts to fight back in and move his feet and I keep cutting him off and he starts to fight back in, this is the perfect time for me Right, to start pulling him down. Again, I'm not gonna come up to the head because now that hand's free, if that's his shooting hand, he's a lefty, he's got a fireman's right there. And I'm, I do not want that thing, I do not want him dropping into that. So again, I get an underhook, I get inside control, and I'm, I'm keep cutting him off. When I, sense that he, when I sense that he's starting to come back in and that leg's there, I'm gonna pull him down. And now when he's here, when I'm here, I can't stay here. All right, he's gonna start running away now. He's gonna start coming up to his hand, off his hand, right here. So that puts me in that single leg position. Now I can climb all the way up to my feet and start getting to my finishes from here. Again, underhook, inside control. Again, he's going to fight back in. It's inevitable for him to want to get that hand in. All right, so when we're cutting him off, come down, place back in. I get tall, and I finish that single leg. One more.